Right. See those cows over there? Right. The camera's playing up a lot. There's a big group of cows on the hill there, beyond that old tree. They can actually get in this field. Let's see that big gap. They can actually get in here if they want to. There's the cops near Pretty Church. Horses sometimes. I think, in a way, the weather being windy and a bit unsettled have made the cows sort of stay in one place. Well, maybe they couldn't, actually. There is a bit of a wall. There may be a gap there, though. Yeah. Once we get up on this track, we're more or less heading for Ebba Gorge. I'm not going to explore the whole gorge like I would if I had Alberta here. And there was no time limit and I could just do what I wanted. Um, I can't do that today. So basically I'm... Uh, take my hat off, get, I keep getting hot and cold. Uh, not cold. When I get up to the lane, I think it'll be time for uh, a bar of chocolate. So I've done quite a bit. What I've done, I've just come from... There's Pretty. Westbury Submin dips over that way. I've done a zoom like this, a circle like this. And then I'm carrying on round and then heading for Wells. There's nowhere I can get the bus anywhere else. Okay, because I'm nowhere near the Cheddar Wells Road. I haven't checked the time. I don't feel as if it's massively late. And I thought, well, this is a decent walk. This will be a decent walk. I should have to, I should be able to make it. I might not have time to do the cathedral. I might have a day trip in the winter to do the cathedral. I might do. Yeah, this isn't um I couldn't, I couldn't have done this a week ago. Even now, it's just they've only just been removed. And uh, they do start removing them when it gets towards Halloween and Guy Fawkes. Even those cows over there, because I go through those fields sometimes, they will be removed, in a, I would say, in the next couple of weeks, if not the end of this week. When the clocks go back or forward, it's darker, earlier, colder, and more wintry. That is when most of the cows are taken in. But there are hardy cows that never come in. So anyway, I'm walking across, as you can see, cow pack. Three or four, do three or four days old, I say that was. Like I said, a week ago, I wouldn't have been able to come in there without too much risk. There's an old track up here in a minute. Leads to little cottages and... But I'm not free from cows yet. That's what I'm saying. I'm not free from the risk of cows yet. I've still got other fields. If they're keeping the cows out, even now, the fields I'll be going in in a minute, I've not, never, I've only once been in them when they've had cows in, and the cows have been a long way over. So, but what I can remember, there are alternative fields that you could get in if you had to. Right, over now. Right, just a little video. Just past another swallet hole there. I can't remember what that one was called, but um, past the woman with a dog and then two more people. This really, we're on our way to Wells really now. 
via Ebber Gorge. Uh, we go down this lovely little track. There's several fields to go across. Um, I've got to make a decision whether to go, if I think there are going to be cows in about four fields I've got to cross, there is an alternative route I can take, which takes me in a less muddy route as well. Um, I'm in two minds to do that route now, uh, mainly because I've, I've just spotted so many cows about. And I don't want to start heading across those fields, get across three fields to find out that the last field and the field left after that and the field of is a field cows. Do you know what I mean? There's some of the pretty bur burrows up on the hill there. That's quite a nice picture with the blue sky in the background. That's one of the burrows. There's eight in one row and then there's seven in another row, but you can't see them until we're further away. But this is an old drove road, look. This would have linked farmers together, uh, villagers. They could come up here on their horses, you see. And if they had a cart, they could come up on their horse and cart. Now, if I wanted to go a drier route, and not fields, there's a track I take over that way. But that can have cows in one of the fields. Um, but I'm very tempted to do that route today, rather than risk the two fields. And I'll do the two fields maybe another time. Um, I'm just thinking of trying to avoid getting co coated in mud, tell the truth. But there are still risk of cows. There is a field that is very close to Epper Gorge itself. It's up on the heathland there. And they usually have a c cows and a bull there. Um, so, now the, coming up to some caravans, and this is where some of the potholders hang out in that average residence. Right, somebody coming. Keep our fingers crossed that there aren't any cows in this field. Uh, this is the alternative route. It's almost a parallel route to the one I would have done if I'd gone further over that way by the White Cottage. Um, but because there seem to be quite a few cows out, hopefully not in this field, which I, they do have them in this field. Um, I they could be down the bottom there. No sign of them at the moment. Um, this is like an, an alternative route. This is like an alternative route that I can use and it's drier. It's mainly on old lane, an old minor, minor, minor road um, as opposed to going across all fields all the time. Now this is a, a cows are normally housed. They could be down in the corner somewhere. So I did want to go over that way and do it <laughs> by the white cottage, and you go the other side of that wood and you walk across fields that way. Now when I'm when I used to bring Alberta, one of my routes, I, I would do a circular, I'd park up by the church. I would do a circular. So I would go that way around and come back this way and go across different fields. It was one of my circulars um, that I would do. So we just got a, this is just an, an alternative and a drier route. So, and if I did find I got stuck trying to enter Ebra Gorge because of cows at Rome and a bull there, I could take another track and go back the way I came and get the bus at Westbury Sub Mendip. Um, you've always got to have plan B and even a C. So this is all, there's the big wells aerial. 
there. And I'm going across this field. Um, we won't be seeing the church now of um, St. Lawrence. We've had a very quick hello there. And um, I'm going to be going up a track over the other side near that old farm, which has been renovated. I'm going to be going up there. It's a drier route, actually. And when I get to the top, there is a farm where usually I am greeted when I get further over by a lovely collie. Now, they have cows. Now, if they have cows, I might have to do an alternative route um, and there wouldn't be then time, I don't think, to get to Wells. Because don't forget, I have to go a walk through Wookie Hole um, and I come in the back of Wells via the Blue Coat School. I'm not going to look at the clock because I hate it when I got to start looking at the clock and start making decisions and it influences me. But I've decided not to look at it until I get up the other side of this farm here, along all the way along the track, until I get to a, a muddier track near a farm, where the decisions can be made. So if they've got all their cows out, because I walk through their farm, but if they've got all their cows out, that's going to be difficult for me as well. So it's not it's not straightforward um, doing these walks. To be honest. Not in the season of the cow, because if you imagine, if I still got to go back through West Mendip, there are cows in that first field that I approached. They could be right up higher now. Right, so there we go. Real old farm this is. It's been done up and made into little homes, like little cottages. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn off now and take a picture of that lovely scene. Over and out.